In this session, we'll be talking about resource classification. What is a resource? Resource is everything that is available in our environment that can be accessible, feasible and culturally acceptable. Here, the human beings are themselves an essential component of the resource. They transform the material available in the environment into resource and use them. Here we see two types of resources, natural and human. Natural is further subdivided into renewable and non-renewable and human into structures and institutions, quantity and quality. We shall see about all these in a few while in more detail. Resources are classified into further divisions. On the basis of origin, we have got biotic and abiotic. Biotic are all those which are obtained from the biosphere, that is the living things, could be human, flora or fauna. Abiotic are those which are composed of non-living things such as rocks, metals and fossil fuels. We have this following classifications on the basis of exhaustibility. One is renewable and non-renewable. Renewable are resources which can be renewed, replenished or reproduced by physical, chemical or mechanical process. For example, solar and wind energy are uh, the renewable resources. It can be further divided into continuous and biological type. Non-renewable resources. These are resources that occur over a long geological period of time, for example, fossil and mineral fuels. These take millions of years in their formation. Some of them can be recyclable and some of them may not be. For example, recyclable type of non-renewable resources are metals and non-recyclable resources are fossil fuels. The next one of classification of the resource is on the basis of ownership. We have the first one is private or individuals. These are things that are owned privately by people. It could be their farmlands, their houses, their plantations, the water in their wells. They all belong to them. The next classification on the basis of ownership is community owned. They are resources which can be accessed by all members of the community. For example, they, are, they could be parks, picnic spots, playgrounds, etc. The next one is the national level. Technically, all resources belonging to the nation, the country gives them legal powers to acquire them even if it is privately owned. For example, there are institutions which are run by the government which are given empowerment to take up the lands for which can be done for public use. Example for building national highways, state highways so that people can get utilized from them. The next is the international resource. There are international institutions which regulate some resources. For example, oceanic resources beyond 200 nautical miles of the exclusive economic zone belong to the ocean and no country can utilize these without the concurrence of international institutions. We have the following classifications on the basis of status of development. The first one is the potential resource which are found in that region but they are not yet fully utilized. For example, western parts of India, particularly Rajasthan, Gujarat have enormous potential for development of solar and wind energy but so far these have not been developed properly. The next classification is developed resource. The resources which are surveyed and their quality and quantity have been determined for utilization. The development depends on the technology and the level of feasibility of these resources. For example, coal mines, oil wells are some of them which have been developed. The next one is stock. These are materials in the environment which have the potential to satisfy human needs but human beings do not have appropriate technology to access these. These are included in the stock. 
For example, geothermal hydrogen resource on hydrogen fuel fall under this category. The next one is reserves. They are a subset of stock which can be put into use if we know the technical know-how. But these have not yet been started. Once we know the technical know-how, we can put it to meet our further requirements. This slide gives us a snapshot of what we have uh, learned till now, the resources and its basis of classification, followed by some of the examples. See you in the next session.